Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I have a glass recycling project that you could do yourself with just about any glass. The nice thing about it is you can sell this glass. A friend of mine actually does arts and craft shows and he I showed him this idea. He sells colored glasses in jars like this for about five bucks, a couple bottles for five dollars. He also sells for like 50 cents little test tubes of the same stuff. This glass can be used, some people use it for sand in their yard or for filling jars with different layers of glass for plants and that sort of thing. Or you can use it for melting. I like to use the powdered glass because it actually doesn't break when the Fresnel lens hits it. When we do glass melting with Fresnel lenses, the powder, you can mix different powders and get a nice mixture. You can actually adjust your colors because you have a very specific amount of glass that you're using. Now all of this stuff here didn't cost me anything. The whole list of materials that you should use for this is... For this project you're going to need a steel pipe about 4 inches in diameter. I cemented this one into a cement block. You can use thick walled PVC. This is a piece of steel I-beam that's been on our property for about 40 years. Any piece of quarter inch steel that's thick enough will work. There's two types of barbells I have here. Don't use the hollow type with the cement in the middle. Use the solid steel type. Over here we have two different types of strainers. This is some of the recycled glass from the foam project that we did and some bottle cutting videos. You also are going to need a respirator mask because of the glass dust and some eye protection and a pair of gloves. The piece of iron, I sanded it down so you don't get, don't get the rust inside of it. There are some old dumbbells that we used to work out with. I usually use this heavy stake, but the plate that I use to cover it, I don't know where it is, so I'm gonna be using a regular uh, barbell like this. Also, you don't wanna do this on a concrete deck because you'll be needing a new concrete deck. All of the energy that you transfer goes right to the ground. So do it on an area of your yard that you don't really care about because it can actually kill the grass in that area. So just an area that's you can pound on. You actually get these really nice big chunky blue pieces. So I'm going to pour this over here. And you can get different size strainers and actually separate the glass. This would make a nice uh, base for a planter. The nice thing about this is you don't have to take the labels off. You can get the labels off. There is a solution. By the way, this is the glass from that foam project. You can take the labels off. You soak them in water overnight if they're the plastic labels. You have to peel them off slowly. And then there's a spray, an orange spray that I use to get the glue off. But I'm filling that up. I'm going to put the plate back on it. And we're going to go after, we're going to crush some of the beer bottles the brown beer bottles. By the way, don't do this with your feet really close or wear a good pair of work boots. One of these things falls off on your toe, you're gonna be in a lot of pain. 
watch your fingers because you got metal heavy stuff against other heavy metal. So get your finger in there, you're gonna be in a lot of pain. Ah, get that off to the side. Now you're gonna notice all the labels and crap stayed behind. So again, get a thicker strainer and you've got thicker brown glass, which I forgot to put the cardboard under it. Oh boy. This stuff you just put back in and break down with other brown glass. Get some jars to keep them off to the side for your next batch and uh, it works really well. The nice thing about this, I wouldn't dream of sticking my hand in there and trying to pick any of that glass up without a glove on. This over here, even pieces that are a little bit larger like this, the edges are almost always not sharp. They're not really big enough to give you a nice long cut. Now this size, you probably shouldn't handle like I am. You should use gloves, but when it's down to this, it's pretty safe. I mean, you could walk on that barefoot and don't do that, but you could, and it probably wouldn't cut you. And the fine powder, of course, is you just don't want to breathe that stuff, but all of this makes really, really nice bases for planters, too. And it's 100% recycled. And you get a workout, you get some exercise. So this is a fun project you can do with yourself or your kids, family, whatever. You can actually try and sell this stuff if you, uh, do that you may want to make sure that you get it really pure because people get a little particular about stuff like that when they pay for it but you can get like a big five gallon bucket of it you can actually mix it with concrete and add it to that if you use the thicker chunks you can grind it down and make kind of a terrazzo glass cement look looks really nice we might do that in a future video i'm your host dan rojas thank you for watching and enjoy our videos